hey guys welcome back to my channel straight talk with in today i will be looking at what's up on social media trend you know when you go on the streets of social media you see so many things that leaves you short amusing mixed feelings and one of them that interests me so much is the buzzwords between a Suli man and one of his followers <music> For the first time please do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you could get my notification for my subsequent videos as soon as i post them and to my returning subscribers oh thank you guys you guys are such a sweetheart i really appreciate you coming back to watch my videos again and again so let's get to today's business apostle man had tweeted about the late archbishop with the Hosa. It's, he has tweeted beautiful things about him, remembering him, you know. You know, like um, some other Nigerian preachers, they do have like maximum respect for the late Archbishop. So Apostle Man being a Nigerian preacher as well, also sent out a message in remembrance of the Archbishop. And one of his followers asked a question, an innocent question, but Apostle wouldn't have it. The follower that asks, would he have had three private jets? You know where those questions are coming from, right? This is from the video that Apostle Sliman had made to say he prayed that COVID never ends because he was living nice. He got private jets added to the ones he had. So COVID should have continued. His Himself and the wife wished that COVID would have continued because it was doing so well for them. So that question came from that video. And Apostle wouldn't have it. You wouldn't blame him, he's human as well. Let me splash his response on the screen because I don't even want to say it, it can be as funny as it is when you look at it. You know, just have a glance at uh, <laughs> just have a glance at it. And you know, you know what, what interests me so much about Apostle Suleiman's response when he said, Say this after me. You know, when they're preaching on the altar, when they say, say this after me, uh, oh Lord, I am blessed. I thought that was what was going to follow what I, you know, like mentally, I just had a picture of something else only to see I am a mumu, you know. <laughs> Let me leave this on the screen for some time so you would see. Well, I'm not, I'm not blaming Apostle Suleiman. After all, he's human before an apostle and he could also bring out his savage side. And you know what Twitter can do to people, no matter who you are, a pastor, an apostle, an imam, you could just bring out the, your savage side. So that, that, that really got me laughing so hard. I wonder why Apostle Suleiman eventually deleted the response because if you go through his... If you go through that post, you wouldn't find a response. Maybe he was asked to delete it. I don't know. Maybe he regretted it. I wouldn't know. But it's so good that I got a quick screenshot because it amused me. And then I thought to talk about it. So that's one thing that happened on the bed app that I wanted to bring to you guys if you haven't seen it. And number two is one that is really sickening. One that is sad and again like when when the name Nigeria is mentioned, I own, I hope that it's gonna be mentioned for something positive and not something negative and even worse as this one. A Nigerian man by the name Olumide, that's one of his names, I don't even want to know his other names, was caught on webcam sexually harassing an 83 year old woman. Yeah, I think everyone should take a deep breath because this took my breath away. He was caught on camera sexually harassing an 83-year-old woman that was left under his care. And how did they find out about this? The woman's son had checked in on the mother via the webcam only to see this caregiver caressing the mother before sexually harassing this woman, not once, but twice and 
to even make matters worse this mf actually denied the incidents and as soon as he realizes that there is proof against him he said this 83 year old woman initiated the sexual act how low can he go an 83 year old woman a vulnerable woman left under his care initiated the sexual act anyways he is facing two counts of felony charges on sexual assault and i hope that he is locked up forever and the key is thrown away because what other punishments would you want to give to this kind of person then to take him away from the society so that vulnerable women would not be taken advantage of it's that's 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 the sickest thing i saw on social media and when i went through the website of false news to read the story uh it was so nauseating i just like i read it in full because i just wanted to skim it and talk about it again when i hear nigeria i always wish that it's going to be for something positive and not the negative side but we can control some of those things we're just only proud and happy that some others are making us proud some others are putting nigeria out there in a positive light now i've got this third one which is the last one and it's also one of those that left me like oh it is a much awaited birthday of miss erica lewedin also known as tag girl erica has just turned 27 years and the birthday is so it's been planned for not so long but the things that have gone down on this bed they would leave you wondering what manner of love is this what manner of love is this for Eric and Lewedin's bed they have fan base also known as the elite league surprised everyone they outdid themselves they outdid any other fan base that the people of Ninja has ever produced they got her $10,000 worth stock in Amazon, Tesla, Disney. That left me, like, I, I, I literally had my mouth open when I saw all of that. I was class some of this on your, on your screen. And it's not even ending there. They had scholarship for people. They had several charity outreach they did that were also running into millions of naira now there is an icing on the cake she got a house a mansion in richmond estates in lakey lagos nigeria and this means that her neighbors are going to be two-faced banky fouls and a whole lot of other celebrities now you begin to ask yourself what manner of love is this again like how do they go up how do they go organizing all of this how do they begin to stand someone to be able to spend millions and do not forget that when erica Lewin left the house a girlfriend a girlfriend me was organized and seventy two thousand dollars was raised for miss Lewin as well and this is just in a space of six months I'm talking about the GoFundMe and the birthday. So you just begin to wonder how did like how did these people get this kind of fan base? How did they get this kind of fan base? Well, I'm I'm super happy for Miss Lewedin. And that also be, makes me begin to ask, Big Brother, what is the maximum age for going to the Big Brother Ninja house? Because I am considering going to that house. Because if you look at things that those people have done for past housemates you would <laughs> you would want to also be in that house so i hope big brother comes back to me because i really want to go to that house as well who knows i could get my mansion in richmond estate as well just like miss lady so guys those are the three things that caught my attention on social media street the first one for a person the man the second one which is so sad and very regrettable and the last one miss lewedin's birthday i hope you enjoy those three trends on social media and if you do enjoy it please 
like the video give me a thumbs up share out the video and subscribe to my channel what i do on this channel is basically talk 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 bring you trends and g's and we just engage each other on this g's again i will be posting another interesting video and do not forget to hit the bell so that you could get the notification as soon as i post this video so guys i will be signing out here once again too.